welcome, and we're glad that you're here. If you wish to address the board, we ask that you fill out the public comment form, which we have available in the back of the room. I will call on individuals in the order that I will say the case. If we're not able to get to your comments uh, in the initial 15 minute period, uh, you may address the board at the second comment period uh, at the end of the meeting. If you wish to address the board on all the agenda for the meeting, please also fill out the public comment form and come to the microphone when the staff item is reached on the agenda. Please remember that each individual has three minutes to address the board. Please focus on issues, not personal, uh, not personal attacks or personal comments. Thank you. Adopting the agenda, there are a couple of adjustments that I'd like to make. Uh, one is we have an administrative appointment today, and uh, our usual procedure for that is uh, to move that toward the beginning so that uh, we can have uh, some of our uh, appointees and family.
and Allison, and they have two children, Katie and Avery. As a family, they enjoy being involved in their church, visiting, and watching FSU football. We're going to have to get used to that. Let's just share our recommended appointment here from Charles Finley as the principal of Lake Forest Elementary School, effective October 7th, 2019.
the two parts of Commissioner Byron's suggestion. It would be a very bad deal for the county. And this would cause the sheriff charges much more for a photo when the district was torn from the county. Mr. Torn also referenced a letter the school board received last year from the county commission chair, strongly requesting that the school pay 50% of the sheriff's she pointed out that the school would be ready and willing to pay our 50% if only the sheriff's bill was fair. Unfortunately, it is not.
for some last for the judge that they had to be the MC at the initial chair fundraiser. I was told to find out someone that was on the chair. And thanks to my wife, I found a lighter. And I found a chair. And it was so beautiful. Let me understand it, by the way.
and all. Because the people that don't know are the people that should know. That's why I'm Christian. You know what I'm saying? The people that don't know are the people that should know. The holy people don't know. You know, we all know. You know, when Jesus takes the people that have the time, you don't know, or etc., etc., that would be helpful. So we really need to push this. We need to push this in school. This is an important thing.
But it's always good to go back sometimes for refreshment to find out some things that you have forgotten, you missed, or whatever. And it was interesting that I um, took my device and was reading along with the presenters that we had to find certain things that we didn't need. We had a strategy. And so we had to find things based on topics to go in to your policy and find it. And I can tell you it wasn't easy. Mr. Um, Okay, now on this side, he gives us all that stuff. The policy, more. We might need to do some scavenging hunt for all of us to get re um, involved with what policy is and what policy isn't. I know tonight I wanted to do something with my chair, and I didn't quite understand what he was saying. I will go home tonight and look that back up. And then maybe apologize, maybe apologize to him on October 15th. Because policy is policy, and we need to follow that. I do want you to know our very own David Attorney, David Delaney, gave us on this Sunday, was a major presenter at that conference. We are proud of what he brought to the floor. He had tons of questions. We are not the only one folks in Alaska County in this state who have problems. There are problems all over this state. And so it was nice to have the attorney there to give us facts and what we need to do and what, where we should be going. I thank him for that tonight. To all of the children who attended the Jada uh, event on Saturday, I hope you enjoyed the band. I hope you enjoyed um, the um, um, the quarterback, and I want to call his name Travis. I I said it wrong. I'm good. Okay. But for you who have not ever been in the swamp, I want you to think about that event that you attended last Saturday, and I was smiling. And I looked at the uh, superintendent and others walking from the tower block of the uh, where are you all walking from. I was smiling because I was in air and, and, and watching everything. But I am so thankful again for the folks and all of the athletic association that provided that. And I hope, Mrs. Johnson, that this will continue, that this is not
on the back because I think I don't think the needle will move if it hasn't been for him coming just repeatedly. And, and when it seemed like it was falling on deaf ears, he still will come back and see you. You know, and to me, that takes something to have that type of capacity to advocate for something that you really believe in. And I thank him for that. Everybody needs to make sure they're being supported. 
make it a five dollar raise, they still wouldn't be where they were last year when they were eight out of the time they died from the So we got to fix this. I know that's what it seems like.
just like any other employee in this district, whether they are paraprofessionals, whether they are teachers, whether they are food service, whether they are custodial staff, bus aides, whatever, whatever. But I did not know that they were going to be here tonight because many of the things that I'm going to say, and I don't have a time limit, so I'm going to start off with the paid, overpaid employee, and there may be more than one, but I contacted the assistant superintendent and personnel about it. But I also asked the employee, which we learned in government, tried to get that employee to speak for themselves. And so I want to share with you that this employee has been overpaid substantially. I want you to know that as principal of Duval Elementary, I was overpaid substantially. And I had to pay the money back. But I spent what I could afford to do, which was fifty dollars. And this was thousands for me. So the board set precedent back then, and we should still be following. It matters not about the taxes. It matters about what an employee can afford to do. I had to pay. $50 a pay period. I won't tell you what my salary was, but it was quite a bit. And it took me almost two years to pay it off. My thing is, and recommending to the people sitting on this diet, is that the employee should be able to pay the $5 or $10 or whatever is expected, and that they will not be stressed from their family. Public Agency, GRU, and if the employee then leaves or is planning to leave, then that total amount should be taken out of the last check before they leave. That is my recommendation. Do not stress people who are already stressed, even more so. Last year, I'm not as good as Dr. Paul, so I don't have a date. But last year, a bus driver addressed this very board. I don't think the surgeon was on yet, but the four of us were here. And she said she made in her salary $12,000. I would love for Rose to sign that before the next board meeting so I can say her name. Who came and addressed us about the low salary that they made, and that she could not support her family, could not get her mortgage or her rent. And I'm so tired of going to meetings. I've been to the meeting with Superintendent Assistant, Superintendent White. I've been with the Assistant Superintendent of Personnel, Mr. Pig. And I have spoken to the Superintendent of this district. Over and over about all of the issues, even before the newest director came in, some of the conditions employees were going through last time before the new director coming in. But let me tell you something nothing has changed. And as far as the repayment, as long as someone is working and trying to pay what they can, we should accept it. Guess what? It's not that employee's error. It's whose error it is. Who wrote it? So they have made an error. They found it. And now it's time to be repaid to the district. That is the only thing I hope that this board can agree and unify on, that we are not going to pay that astronomical amount that I heard today. And because of taxes or whatever, if the, if the payroll says 21000 and that's what hits the tax 
already in 2019, so be it. But the problem is not being able to take care of your family. The same people who drive all of the children every single day. The same people that we depend on. And when they come to a house,
I'm sorry, ninety some dollars, and now they are paying having to pay a hundred eighty dollars because of their life insurance. I don't know anything. How could I even comment to them? And I didn't know about it, but you probably know. And it's based on the last year's rate with this year's rate, and all of these are served on the insurance committee. I'm not talking about the panel. I'm saying life, life insurance. Same committee. Okay. What can you address that? Me that he and Mr. Wonderful Tyler 
would be working on some aesthetics as far as the beauty of the um, baby, as well as the, I forget what you call it, when you can push out, but you can't get in, what is that called? A push ball. Thank you. But today, when you go to a gate, and they are padlocked there, and I can't get in, I would panic if something terrible had happened. And we have people all the way up to still there. When the children were gone, but the kids were still there. So we still don't have a plan of action for everything in a safe manner. I just wanted to bring that up. I'm going to um, give way to another colleague. As I look back at my notes, I probably have to have more things. So, Mr. Chair, um, go to somebody else, and then I'll decide when to come back.
as we can save children and other pedestrians who may be trying to cross a way. It's, it's been clear. Bus is on. And I think everybody can agree with the end. Bus is
on the bus that has this discipline. I was told so on her that we have four, is that correct, Mr. Sergeant Mr. White, that we have four A's that can be dispersed to the buses? And we have over 200 some bus drivers? Come on. I know we have more than four buses that deal with discipline. And so we cannot continue to allow this. Where do we get the money? I guess over to the ballot. But I don't know how he's going to divvy it up for that kind of help. But if you haven't driven a bus with at least 35 to 50 children on it, don't tell me you understand. I know when my grandchildren get behind me and my car, I have a problem. So think about these children who have been in a school all day and they're ready to have a good time or whatever, and these drivers need help. I'm hoping that you're listening tonight, and I'm hoping that you won't expect me to say this in two weeks on the 15th of October or the 1st of November.
subject of the proposal to pay for you 